The Denver Broncos roster now sits at 80 players after the team cut nine guys and saw one veteran opt out due to the pandemic. Let's start with the waived players. The Broncos waived undrafted rookie quarterback Riley Neal on Monday. Neal played college ball at Vanderbilt and was signed to be a camp arm with the highest possible ceiling being a number three caliber quarterback if he could unseat Brett Rippon. Alas, due to the pandemic, Neal will never get the chance, at least not in Denver. The team also waived linebacker Trey Crawford, who'd been signed to a futures deal back in January. Crawford simply wasn't afforded the chance to bond or gel with his coaches thanks to the entire on-field portion of the off-season training program being canceled this year. The Broncos also waived first-year wideout Kelvin McKnight. Signed as a college free agent last year, McKnight was a smallish slot receiver with returner upside. He'll have to hope to land elsewhere. The Broncos also waived running back Kalfani Muhammad, which will disappoint some fans. Viewed as a Philip Lindsay light, Muhammad shined during the 2019 preseason. Although it wasn't enough to make the 53-man roster, it was enough to stick with the organization for more than a year. The Broncos also waived safety Kahani Smith. Smith was signed as a futures project late last season and is another victim of the pandemic. The Broncos also waived cornerback Shaquille Taylor, who offered some intrigue when the team added him off waivers in November of last season. Vic Fangio and Ed Donatel liked him, but in his case, there was enough exposure to the coaches that the team felt confident to make a decision here. Though it's still an unfortunate development, because in a traditional NFL summer, you never know what sort of opportunity preseason snaps could have afforded Taylor. The Broncos also waived center Nico Fala, who arrived as a waiver claim in late 2018. Fala suffered a season-ending lower leg injury in the summer of 2019, and now he's out the door. The Broncos are stout on the interior offensive line and have some depth following the draft. Lastly, when it comes to waivers, the Broncos parted with undrafted rookie wideout Zamari Manning. Hailing from the small school Tarleton State, not much is known about Manning, save for the fact that he produced some big numbers in Division II football. Broncos released nose tackle Joel Heath, a vested veteran. Heath is a former Houston Texan who brought some girth and intrigue to the nose tackle position, but the Broncos feel they can make do with Mike Purcell. Lastly, fifth-year defensive lineman Kyle Pecco decided to opt out of the 2020 season due to the pandemic. Based on his age and relative health as a professional athlete, Pecco himself might not be considered high risk for the bug, but his wife's immune system might still be compromised in the wake of her successful battle with cancer last year, and understandably, Pecco isn't willing to roll the dice on the chance of possibly exposing her to the bug. The Broncos gave Pecco the higher risk opt-out designation, which means he'll receive a $350,000 stipend for sitting out the 2020 season. With the roster whittled down to 80 players, the Broncos can now move forward with training camp without having to cut the team into two squads and walk that convoluted high wire of basically having to run two different teams. The Broncos are 10 players fewer than they were, but at least the team can attack what will be a very unique training camp on a united front. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Chad Jensen.